When I started doing drag for my wife, I wasn't the most excited for it, but she's really supportive of it now. When I did a lot more of FI drag, which is female impersonation, um, I would get confused all the time for being a woman, but that was intentional. So I guess you could say that my current illusion that I do mostly is a man impersonating a woman who is impersonating a man. Megan and Jeremiah are not the most conventional of couples. A year into their relationship and Jeremiah started practicing the art of drag. Uh, what you going for today? I'm gonna go for some, something a little more genderqueer than normal. So I think I might, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna contour my body today. So we're gonna see how that kind of turns out. I kind of have an idea of what I'm doing. An idea. Yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> a concept. Right here. So we first started dating um, in our freshman year of college. So we met up at homecoming. Homecoming. Right. So I first started getting interested in makeup when I was about 20 years old. Um, and I really didn't start doing it seriously until I was about 21. What did my Marcel mean? So Jay came to me one day and he said, I went to this drag show. It was really cool. Um, I think it's something that I want to try out. So I, at first I was a little weirded out. Uh, so I was like, do we need, do we need to discuss something? Do you need to figure out your sexuality? Uh, are you trans? At first, Megan was kind of, like, hesitant about it because it was like, you know, imagine how anybody would feel in that situation. You know, your boyfriend is dressing in drag, you know, multiple times a week. Um, I, I think the, the thing that is, places. I think, very different about us is that you are indifferent to sex as a concept. Is that, is that fair? Yeah. Yeah. But like um, sex, like if I never had sex again, I don't think I would probably care like a whole, whole bunch. He's indifferent. I was disinterested <laughs> um, in sex as a concept before I entered into our relationship. To me, in my opinion, it's activity. It's about the same amount of fun as like playing video games. It looks like a giant version of my highlighting brush. The long stem kabuki. Blending brush. General. Kind of powder brush. I wouldn't describe any of these as a long stem. I think I'll put my, my, my date. Oh in. my goodness, I have short kabukis and long kabukis. <laughs> Did I get the right one? Here you go, pick one. None of these are right, right? This one. Okay, the dome. Uh, whether I have wanted to him to or not, he has taught me a lot about makeup because he'll come and be like, there's this new makeup trend, let's try it out together. And so it becomes this fun activity for us to do together. It was through Jeremiah's exploration of drag that he came to explore his own sexual identity. Um, I identify as a gender, so I don't really identify as male or female, and I don't identify as something in between. I don't really feel like I fit anywhere on a gender binary at all. So, all together in, I would say, like materials alone, like not if you count labor or anything like that, my closet easily has over $5,000 in costumes in it. And for makeup, um, probably this year alone, I have easily spent upwards of $1,000 on makeup just in 2017. This one's new, so I haven't worn this one at Zen yet, so I will wear this one. It's really shiny and pretty. Normally takes me 
at least three hours to go from no makeup to full glam. Jeremiah now brings his drag persona out and performs at shows a few times every month. I get all kinds of reactions everywhere I go. Uh, usually it's a positive reaction. I don't really have most people react negatively to my look because I think it's pretty extreme. So most people who don't like it, they're going to just give me funny looks. Jay and Megan could not be more of a perfect couple, honestly. Like, there's always been that little bit of doubt with Jay. And then when you see them together, it's sparks. They're, it's just the most beautiful couple I could honestly imagine. You know, those two are made for each other. Usually a performance for me uh, is about three to four minutes the duration of one song. Uh, I do some really, really intense dancing. Whenever I see Jay do well and see the crowd react well to his performance, I just feel proud of him and happy for him. Yeah, our relationship is unusual. It's, um, it's not unusual in the way that we don't seem to interact or behave like other couples do. You know, we kind of go about things much, much differently. It just feels natural and normal to us. We love each other um, completely and yeah. totally and absolutely. Yeah, like both platonically and non-platonically. Yeah, I yeah I can't I can't imagine uh, not being with him. <laughs>